Welcome. Today we are in a Jadis Barar area. My brother Barkazar from Saudi Arabia has invited me to experience the 42 degree heat. Why? Greetings, everyone. I am here with my brother Mohammed Olamar from Kuwait. I have brought him here today because we're about to put the Tank 500 car to the test in the Jeddah Desert. So you are taking me in a tour to Jeddah Desert? And you'll be the one behind the wheel. Let's get started. Mohammed combining high temperatures, sandy dunes, and challenging terrains creates a demanding scenario for the car. From performance and power to driving pleasure, I've heard a rumor that the Tank 500 is among the best in its class. Look, Buck, I see the Tank 500 right in front of me as I sit behind the wheel. In terms of shape, body and design, in my humble opinion, however, you're the desert expert. Together, we'll conquer the challenges of the Jeddah Desert. Let's begin the testing. Let's go! Buck, I've activated the sand mode. Let's see how well it handles the desert. Sand mode, huh? So you're planning to kick up some sand blowing. What do you mean by sand blowing? Sand blowing means you'll be raising sand up to the engine's height and above the car's hood. Like this? Exactly. By the way, this car features a six-cylinder, twin-turbo, three-liter engine with a nine-speed transmission gearbox. Impressive. Let's put it to the test. We've tried the sand mode. Now I'm switching to sport mode. Let's see. They say it's exhilarating. Look, Buck, it feels like a powerful horse. Indeed, driving this car on the sand dunes will surely impress potential buyers. We faced sandstorms, and as you can see, not a speck of dust made it inside the car. This demonstrates the car's excellent cabin insulation. Honestly, Mohammed, I can't believe how well the car operates uh, with the traction control while descending this hill. Can you explain how this system works? I'm totally impressed by the car performance is that this six-cylinder, three-liter twin turbo with a nine-speed gearbox handle it beautifully, especially in four-low mode. We also tested the sand and sport modes, and they performed admirably on the sand dunes. Mohammed, we've been driving for quite a while, and this is the first time the car got stuck. Can you try to get it out? I'm trying to, but things seem to be getting worse. How about trying the 4L mode, the crawl mode? Let's see how it performs. All right, first, let's switch the gear. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. Is it working? Yes, I see it coming out of the sand. Thank goodness we got unstuck. See, we just got unstuck. Everything is smooth now. Let's try another mode. I want you to test a new one called the expert mode. Ready? 
Just a note, the road ahead is flat and obstacle-free, with no sand dunes or potholes. Let's explore the on-demand four-wheel drive system. Do you know what it does? It distributes torque based on wheel needs. Providing stability to the car. Cool, like what I'm doing now. Exactly. You can see the car handles the road very smoothly. Honestly, Bach, while I'm driving, I feel how smooth the car is, especially when I'm steering. I have complete control over the car. Look, Mohammed, despite the speed you're driving, I can hold this water glass without feeling any vibrations. This is due to the car's smooth suspension system, which enhances comfort while seated inside. See, Mohammed? When you make sharp turns with the steering wheel, the car system recognizes it as a turn. It activates the tank turn system, allowing for a turning radius of 5 meters. Less than 5 meters. Amazing! And here's the button for it. This feature is also useful if you need to make a quick U-turn or navigate tight spaces efficiently. The best part is that your water glass didn't spill. Look at those sand dunes and that hill over there. Yes? This is going to be the most challenging test for the car, to see if it can make it up. I believe this challenge will test two aspects of the car. The braking system with its traction control and the car's body safety. I'm confident that this car can handle it. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow! See, didn't I tell you? <laughs> Absolutely! What's your take on this? It's amazing! The Tank 500's engine boasts a crucial feature. Rapid cooling. This directly affects the engine's temperature, reducing heat generation and alleviating the burden on the cooling system. This indirectly proves the Tank 500 engine's efficiency.